morning, good morning. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. It is cold as hell. It is literally 32 degrees right now, but we are here slaving on the Genesis as per usual. Today's video, we are gonna be throwing whatever is in this box onto the Genesis. So let us go ahead and unbox this and I'll show y'all what this is. So today we're gonna to be throwing this K style lip onto the front of the Genesis Coupe. All right, so I got this off of eBay for like $88. Uh, you can literally find this on eBay, Amazon, anywhere you look. It is carbon fiber. Well, I don't know if it's real carbon fiber. Cause if you take a look under here, the print just stops, it just goes to black. So I don't think it's real carbon fiber, but I mean, honestly, that's fine. I'm probably gonna end up scraping it. So since it's not real carbon, I guess you could call it like fiber carbon, farbin fiber. It's not real carbon, so I don't expect this hell to really last like that, so it's not that valuable. But if I'm not mistaken, this is like literally the fifth lip that I'm throwing onto the gin. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one probably will break. It's like 100% chance, looking at the statistic. I'm hoping that this one lasts the longest. Cause man, these hoes are just so fragile and everything. But yeah, you could get this lip in three different styles. They have like the satin black or like matte black. That's like the cheapest one. Then you can get it in gloss black and then you can get it in the carbon. They're all less than a hundred dollars. So it's like a cheap level entry mod, if you will. So it comes in three separate pieces. This is the left piece, center piece. I'm sorry. This is the right piece, the center piece, the left piece. And they all just kind of go into each other like so. As you can see, they just line up. Yeah, there is that little seam. Plus, if you look here, there is like a different type of carbon weave. <laughs> like I said, it's only like 80 some dollars. So I, this is not like an alpha speed lip or anything. I could tell it's not real carbon because like a real carbon lip is like 300. It also comes with hardware, a bunch of screws that you're gonna need to throw this onto the bumper. So let us go ahead and do that. All right, the front bumper is now off. Next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is line this lip up as so, and then drill holes just to get this to stay flat like that. Fortunately, like I said, there's hardware. There's already like indentations at the back of this where this lines up to this. So you don't have to actually drill into this part whenever you're kind of attaching these pieces, but you do have to drill out these holes whenever you drill into the actual bumper. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach these pieces and then throw it on the bumper. All right, the Farman Kyber lip has been assembled. Very simple, just those two screws. Now I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with the bumper and then drill the holes for that and then attach it. All right, I've gone ahead and got basically one side of the lip on. My biggest recommendation for getting this lip on is to use separate hardware besides like the screws that they put in the kit because the screws are just way too small. 
like they don't actually have enough thread to like fully go through this so I just like to use bolts. This is what it is looking like so far. I recommend using your own holes because they give you like literally like two holes on each side. I recommend using your own holes because if not there's gonna be like a bunch of gaps in here. So there's a little bit of gap. I think maybe if I add like one or two more bolts it'll get rid of that. But so far this is what it's looking like. Not bad for like $88. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing the other side and wrap this hole up. All right, it has been around an hour. The lip is fully on there as you can see. Jeez. It looks solid, I like it a lot. I went ahead and hit it with some of this clear coat just to give it a little bit more protection because I know that this is probably gonna scrape and end up just like ruining the carbon pattern, but just from rock chips and everything, I went ahead and used that just to give it a little bit more protection. All in all, the fitment is not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks pretty solid. Not that much gap if you put like the right amount of bolts. It does stick out a little bit more on this side, like past the bumper, but it's very negligible. But I don't know, this should look sweet. But if you thought I was done there with this bumper, you're tripping. I got this mesh and I'm gonna put it behind fog lights or at least where the fog light should be. And I'm essentially gonna cover that like that. I think this will look pretty clean. It'll kinda get rid of that emptiness, that just straight up gap. For those of y'all who have BK2s, there are essentially like DRLs, the stock fog lights. But I've seen people with like DRL covers. I'm gonna throw them up on the screen like right now. And I looked everywhere. I could not find these. I looked on GC Tuner, eBay, Amazon, and hella websites. I just could not find it. So for those of y'all who know about those type of like DRLs, are people literally just like spraying over the stock DRLs with just like black spray paint? Or are there actual DRL covers? Let me know. Leave a comment down below because I think they look clean. I just cannot find them for the life of me. I'm just basically gonna place this mesh here, trace around it, and then cut it. And then I'm probably gonna cut off some of these tabs. I don't think I need all of them. I'm probably gonna leave maybe like three or four of them. I've gone ahead and cut out the first piece to size. As you can see, it fits like so. Perfect. So I'm gonna cut off a few of these tabs and drill some holes and connect this. Let's get to it. All right, so I finished the passenger one as a test just to show you what it looks like. And this is looking good. I like it a whole lot more. So what I did was I basically cut off all like the tabs right here. And then there's these like little circular clips right here. And I drill holes there and basically put zip ties to it. But yeah, this is basically just to show y'all what it looks like. It looks good. I fuck with it. All right, let me do the driver's side and actually show y'all how I did it. All right, I've gone ahead and finished up sanding this. As you can see, it is basically perfectly smooth. The cut was a little bit rough, so I used some foreigner grit just to get that smooth. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this mesh, and as you can see, lines up. So now I'm gonna drill holes here, here, and here, and then here, and then hold it with some zip ties. Yeah, zip ties are rough, but I mean, I don't know what other hardware to use. So let's go ahead and get to that. All right, just like that, the front bumper is complete. Let me show you all this. Come here, 
Mesh is on. That's on. Oh, yeah. That's a lie. I'm really geeked with how this turned out. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the car and catch y'all at the OG spot. Let's go! All right, we are at the OG spot. And as you can see, this front end is looking a whole lot sicker than it did before. Lip on, mesh on, and honestly, the car just looks a whole lot more complete, if I will not lie. Yeah, I'm definitely fucking with that. I feel like since it has like that piece, like at the side, like the winglet kind of, this piece right here, even though I know it's not a winglet, since it kind of flares out, I think it definitely needs some side splitters to complement that aggressive look. But besides that, that shit is sweet. Yeah, I'm fucking with that. I like that a lot. It definitely just gives the car a whole lot more of an aggressive look. And I have not scraped with it once. Looks good on this side as well too. All in all, for $88, this is honestly a really good add-on. Especially with the mesh, it definitely completes like the front end. I know I haven't done anything to the grill yet, but eh, I'll get there. But nah, that shit looks clean. I like it, definitely a good mod. Anyways guys, that is gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you like it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know me, selling out per usual. I'll catch y'all later. Deuces.